Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So here me Dianisa and my friend me Gracilia. Ulang ulang ya cak ulang ya cak. Pas aku bilang my friend kamu sebutin nama ya. Ah. Satu, dua, tiga. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So here me myself, Dianisa, and my friend. Gracias Puspasena. Will present you presentation about quantitative research. The first material will be read by Gracilia. Okay, first of all, uh, I will I will tell about the definition. As the name implies, this type of research method translate data into numbers to analyze the findings. Quantitative research can be descriptive correlation and also associative based on the relationship between the variables. Descriptive quantitative research usually only measure the level of a variable in the population or sample, while correlation and associative look at the relationship between two, two or more variables. If the quantitative correlation only shows the relationship, associative tries to find a causes and effect relationship between the related variables. In quantitative research, there are experimental and survey methods. Experimental uh, research methods are used if research want to know the result of evol- Evo- evaluation of certain treatment for community groups. Experimental research usually involves two groups. One group gets treatment while the other group gets no treatment. If the impact received by the two groups tends to be the same, it means uh, that the treatment is considered ineffective. But if the results are significantly differ- different, It means that the treatment is effective. The following is the definition of quantitative research according to expert. First, kasiran. One of them according to kasiran, which means that the quantitative research is an attempt by a researcher to find knowledge by presenting data in the form of numbers. The figures obtained are used to conduct to conduct information analysis. In simpler language, quantitative research is scientific research that is systematically runs on the part and tries to find casually to find out the relationship. The second is Creswell. According to Creswell, quantitative research is an effort to investigate the problem with the purpose in drawing conclusion or assisting in the General, generalizing the right predictive theory, and the third one is according to the third one is punch. According to punch, quantitative research is a research be- research based on empirical experience that collect data in the form of number that can be calculated and the and in numeric form. Next slide, please. There is objective of quantitative research based on the perspective of its objective. Quantitative research has several points. Among them are aimed at developing mathematical models, where where this research does not only use theories taken from literature studies or theories, but is also a very important to build hypotheses that have a connection with the natural phenomena to be studied. 
So, this quantitative research has an important purpose in making measurement. However, measurement is the center of research because measurement result will help in seeing the fu fundamental relationship between empirical observation and quantitative data result. The other goal is to help determine the relationship between variables in a population. This includes assisting in determining the research design. Talking about quantitative research design, it has to form, namely descriptive studies and experimental studies. It is said to be a descriptive studies if the researcher only tests the relationship between variable only once. Meanwhile, what is mean, mean by experiment, experimental study research is when the researcher takes measurement between variable before and after the research. So the measurement before and after is nothing but done to find out the cause and effect. It can also be used to find out the phenomena are being researched. Next slide. And there is a characteristic of quantitative research. The first one is objective. Uh, objective is theory about the universe must be clear as it is and not be influenced by anything. And the second one is phenomenal. Phenomenal is research only explain about something that can be observed, felt, and seen because of the data. And the third is redu reductionist. Uh, the data found through research must be reduced to fact so that they can be used as a decision-making material. The last one is naturalist. Naturalist is the thing being studied must be similar to the object of the universe that move mechanically and based on the certain rules. Thank you. The next slide will be delivered by the Anissa. So the next slide is types of quantitative research. There are three types of quantitative research. The first one is comparative method. This, this type of method uh, is, a research that is a research that is intended to determine differences in the variable studied. This research does not expect manip manipulative abilities so that the resulting data is truly objective and accurate. In other words, comparative method is carried out as naturally as possible so that the results of the analysis of the results of the differences in the variable studied are clearly visible. The second type is descriptive method. As mentioned earlier, in the objectives, uh, in the characteristics of quantitative research, descriptive method uh, conveys facts by describing what is seen, obtained, and felt. In the language of journalism, researchers simply write or report the results of their eye of view reports, where the author simply describes the subject of the object being studied without engineering or the like. And the last type is correlation method. This method aims to describe two or more research results. This method is more appropriate to use to compare similarities or differences so that the research results are more specific and clear. This research method is more appropriate and suitable for research that, that has a clear starting point for research. At last, before you doing your research, you can check first the type of research taken and which method is more appropriate to, to use from the three types of quantitative research I've just mentioned. And the last thing we want to explain is the steps of quantitative research. There are six steps of, of making quantitative research. The first one is to make a problem formulation. So problem formulation is a form of question and not a statement. To make a good problem formulation, it must be specific, relevant to the same race, new and original, and the last one is attract attention. Second step is 
to make theoretical basis. Theoretical basis or liter- literature review is actually an effort to find answers to, to the problem formulation that has been determined by the author. So, the purpose of the theoretical basis is that the researcher conducts a literature review and research that is relevant to the same race. The third step is make a hypothesis. Hypothesis is a professional answer. So, from the theoretical study that has been done research, the researcher can make a temporary answer which is the hypothesis. Whereas the temporary answer will be tested later uh, whether the hypothesis you make is true or appropriate or vice versa. The first step is data collection. Data collection is when the researcher collects data to get solutions and answer. However, in collecting data, researchers need two things. The first one is requiring and requiring search instruments and testing instruments. Research instrument means to facilitate researcher in taking data in the field. While instrument testing is the researcher effort to test the validity and reliability of the appointed instrument. The fifth step is analyzing the data. After you that um, uh, collected data, you need to take only the important parts and relevant parts from the data collection you've just collected. After after uh, you take only the important and relevant parts, you need to perform data analysis, where data analysis is an attempt to answer the hypothesis you've made before. There are three techniques of uh, data analysis. You can use statistic, uh, descriptive statistics, or inductive statistic. And the last step or sixth step is conclusion. Conclusion should be written in outline. It doesn't need to be elaborated in length and width. The presence of conclusion is the results of hypothesis testing and conveys whether the hypothesis is rejected or accepted. So you you need you just need to write conclusion in brief statement concisely and clearly. So that's all from me and Gracilia Putpasena. Hope our presentation is a good information for you all. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam